friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsource coming at you with the first Goodwill Outlet Bins Haul of 2024. So last week I went to the Goodwill Outlet Bins in Nashville and I just had this, I don't know, feeling in my soul that they were going to raise the prices in 2024. Um, I used to pay $1.49 per pound and for clothing items and all other items and then books I think are like 69 cents a pound. I don't ever source books. Um, however... I got down there and I saw that they had upped the price to $1.59 a pound from $1.49 a pound. And so I understand like things cost more. I don't really have a problem with the 10 cent increase, but I just kind of had a feeling they were going to implement that. It may have happened the second part of December and I just didn't notice um, because I didn't go. I went like in the beginning of December and hadn't really gone since the second half because my husband was home for a couple weeks for um, not working and just actually home. So I was trying to hang out with him. Um, will it change my business model of sourcing at the bins? Not really. But for example, I, this day I spent, um, or I got 78 pounds worth of clothing items. So at an extra 10 cents a pound, that's $7 and 80 cents, which is about one and a half to two items at a retail Goodwill store. Is it that big of a difference? No, but when I come home with flawed items or items that I can't sell, then it is sort of wasteful. So I should be taking more time to check over things while I'm down there. Um, I just really want to get it in and out sometimes. So I do come home oftentimes with something that has maybe a stain I didn't notice or something like that. So this time there was one pair of shoes that I've already thrown out that had um, the whole lining on it. I didn't see was missing basically. And so I just thought they're not good for reselling or even donating. So I gave those a toss. So those weighed about a pound. So, you know, I wasted a buck fifty nine. Okay, enough about that. Um, I wonder though if they are raising prices across the country at the new year. Did your prices increase at your bins if you shop at your bins um, in your area if you have one? So uh, this team was pretty good. They were having a lot of rotations that came out. It was also super busy. It was the last week of Christmas break. Lots of little kids running around underfoot, like camped out in sleeping bags on the floor, <laughs> basically, you know, having a little party. Um, so I was trying not to run into kids with my cart. Anyway, uh, the first thing up here is just a hat. I'm going to keep this for me. And it's a Duluth Trading Company. It's just a trucker hat. The foam kind of style old school trucker hat. It says tougher than a giant angry beaver, which is Duluth is like a beaver is their um, like mascotty whatever logo. Uh, tougher than a beaver. Their clothing is tougher than a beaver. So I like Duluth Trading Company stuff. And... As you know, because I've talked about their overalls, which I got a new pair for Christmas that are um, like a flannel lined one, fleecy lined one. So quite lovely. All right. This is the brand Loli, Lole, Loli, L-O-L-E with the two little dots above it. Um, Lole. <laughs> I don't know how you would say that. If they make like ski clothes and winter clothes. This had a few marks on like makeup marks on the faux shearling or faux fur lining around the neckline. I washed it. It came out great. It's just a faux suede jacket with these exposed seams, buttons double breasted down the front. It's a great gray color. It's a size medium. And um, I usually, you know, put comps up along the way for you so that you know. But the comps on that particular jacket were like between 30 and 50 to $60. So I feel like not a bad flip for having just to come home and wash it. It of course does weigh a couple pounds, but I thought it was a great style for the season. This I got for myself. It's just airy, which is a size extra large airy. Um, so that's, you know, American Eagles, like loungier, more casual wear. If you've watched my channel for any sort of, sort of time, you know that I don't wear white. <laughs> However, I just, I'm trying to see if my husband and I are going to be able to get to go away this spring, somewhere warm, um, depending on our schedules. This is a real gauzy, exposed seam, oversized blouse that I thought would be perfect as a swim cover-up. And I thought, dare to wear white, Trish, do it. So we're going to see what happens with that. In my last video, I talked about not picking up things at the bins that don't spark joy for me or that I don't want to list. Sometimes I bring it home and I'm like, my God, this will be in my death pile for six weeks or six years because it's a linty pair of black slacks that I have no interest in listing. 
um, or white items that could have stains or other things. However, when you see the brand Bryn Walker, you do kind of want to look into it because it does resell pretty well for me. This is a size large, the tag, the size tag on Bryn Walker is always under the um, brand tag. And this is a really cute ruffle collared, three quarter sleeve ruffle end there. I looked it over for flaws. I didn't see any. I did wash it when I came home. I didn't even want to touch it, really. Um, it is 100% linen. Bryn Walker stuff is made in the USA. So it's a great lag and look brand. What are you on there? That's just a linty. And so I need to get this listed and put in my inventory. Most of my inventory I put in a Ziploc bag and then goes into... Um, my inventory back here but things that are really delicate or that I never want to touch again before I ship it out go into a sealable plastic bag so um, that's something that will go into that all right this is a Victoria's Secret bra in a size 38 double D which is an E cup and it's a pretty pink cup it's softly padded has lace um, accents and what are they calling this Sometimes they have the name on there. Lined Perfect Coverage Bra. So it was in good condition. It didn't. It had like not a ton of wear to the sleeves, or the sleeves, the straps, and the back clasp looked to be in good shape. So went ahead and grabbed that. This is a men's Hawaiian shirt. I think it could be vintage, but I don't know if it's just a locally made thing. It's... <clears throat> Ali, 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 -E. A L I apostrophe I fashions Hawaii size large, hundred percent cotton. Um, <clears throat> men's Hawaiian shirt, and the comps on these seem to be pretty good. Now the bra has a very strong perfume smell to it. I wash, I did wash it, um, and it has been sitting on this very strong perfume smell. So I will note that in the listing that it, it does have a perfumey smell. It's in good condition, but if you're sensitive to smells, like I don't want you to um, get that. Okay, this is fun. This is Old Navy size 12, Old Navy blue jeans. This is a vintage piece. I think it's from 20, 2000, spring of, 20, spring of 2002. So it's a long line denim skirt with this little bit of a flare definitely that y2k look it's also modest i think you could use those words in it and so i went ahead and grabbed this that fun crossover belt loop in the back there thought it was cute fun multi-season wear out of that this is just a pair of old navy straight jeans for me i like old navy jeans i pick them up for myself all the time this is a pair of overalls. They're um, Gap denim, size extra small, but they are short short hauls, and I will pick up short hauls or overalls um, all the time, kind of regardless of brand, but I feel like Gap overalls are just like a classic <laughs> overall. Um, they have, I think my first pair of overalls like in the 90s were Gap as well. And I probably got them back to school shopping and they probably were, I don't know, 50 or $60 even back in the nineties. And I wore those like all, to death. Maybe I don't know what ever happened to those. Um, and so I love, I like overalls they are comfortable. Anyway, these are just from spring of 2018. So, you know, they're a couple years old, but still just a classic style of short all and brought those home this is a Victoria's Secret piece size large it's just a sleep shirt flannel sleep shirt um, I'm not going to show you the Victoria's Secret label you know what it looks like probably <laughs> and just a pink and pink striped with a silver metallic threading through it and a fuzzy for free bonus on there so you know that's an easy thing to photograph and list This is Chico size one, which is a size uh, medium. 
and it's just a crochet like open knit overlay top I got a bunch of um old, old navy a bunch of chico stuff this day and I got two, I normally wouldn't pick up a size one necessarily but I got two pieces that I thought I could just lock together this is just a like TJ Maxx uh long sleeve workout top for myself or long sleeve short sleeve workout top for myself okay I got a phone call I have to go to an endodontist on Thursday like I have a root canal and a crown on one of my teeth and it is like failing and so it's 10 years old and I hate I love going to the dentist to have my teeth clean but I hate I have dreams about my teeth falling out I don't know what that means if you analyze dreams, but I am not interested. I like they crumble out of my mouth in my dreams and it's like a recurring kind of situation. So I'm really paranoid about losing teeth. <laughs> um, so she, that was just the end of Donna's calling for a confirmation of something. Um, so I'm not sure what that means in the dream world. All right. Next up is Ellen Tracy, 100% cashmere. I see Ellen Tracy at um, like TJ Maxx all the time. However, you can see that it has a hole in there. This is just, it's a really pretty blue sweater and there's a little mark right there you can see. I'm just putting this in my upcycle cashmere law. I got like three other cashmere pieces, I think, or two other cashmere pieces for that. So I just put these in five pound lots if you've watched my channel before and I take a picture of the labels and kind of the color of the item and list it as a craft upcycle um, box. I don't make a ton of money back on it, but I really don't. Cashmere and wool and silk, things that came from an animal, I do try to save from the landfill if it could be repurposed. And so, you know, this is something that could easily be repurposed and felted or cashmere, you know, crafted into something else. This is, I got two pieces of Altered State this day, which is odd, because I don't always pick it up. But this is Altered State size small. I just really liked this print. It's definitely like a boho, um, eye cat sort of print, sh short sleeve. It's got a bit of a peplum baby doll look to it. Very cute. I just, it's a pale, pale yellow cream color. Um, I just thought it was a cute piece and would be super easy to photograph. This is Max Studio size medium. It's uh, MSRP was $88. It's a very cute pull on skirt in this white and blue kind of nautical stripe to it. It's got a little bit of a lace insert at the bottom. It is lined. Max Studio, you know, it's like a department store brand. Um, it is 100% cotton. It's not something that's going to fetch a huge price in the resale market, but it's new with tags. It's a cute piece for spring. So I did go ahead and grab that. This I picked up just for style. It's highway jeans, size one X in some, this is not a one X in any world. <laughs> it's maybe a medium, um, but it's the Southwestern print denim jacket or vest. And I just grabbed it for style. I thought it was cute. Um, it's stretchy, but it's not a one X. It's kind of like Shein stuff, I feel like is very mislabeled um, size-wise. This I just grabbed for myself. It's just turtle fur. Uh, one size faux fur hat, because I like to wear hats. This is my favorite one, though. My girlfriend gave me this, like, I don't know, before I even moved to Tennessee, and I wear it all, all the time. This is Crown and Ivy Curvy 1X. So I don't always pick up Crown and Ivy, but in plus sizes, I, tip, I, I do pick them up. Um, it is a maybe Dillard's house brand. It's got this pin tucked pleated top here. It has these adorable little pom-poms. I, it looked like maybe one of the pom-poms was missing, but I didn't think that was a big deal. It's got this heavy embroidery on it and it's just a cute top this fun like lace eyelet scalloped bottom to it and so I grabbed that this is Victoria's Secret size medium and it's just a so it's a tank dress with sort of a racer back to it it has a gray upper 
Got pockets, maybe. No, no pockets. Yes, pockets. Thought there were pockets. Um, it's a maxi length dress. And I would call this like a summer swim, swim cover up. Um, it's polyester and linen. So it's from 2015. I don't even know, honestly, if Victoria's Secret makes clothing items anymore. This is an, oh, this is a linen piece or a linen, a cashmere piece that I don't think has a flaw. It's James Renwick made in Scotland and it's to fit 97 centimeters or 38 inches, 100% pure cashmere. It is a women's um, cashmere sweater just based on the sleeve. It has a, kind of a little bit of a feminine puff to it. It's a camel colored cashmere sweater. It did not have any holes in it that I could see, um, but of course I just grabbed it. It is 100% cashmere. Did I say that already? Uh, I was just seeing if there's anything else about it. I don't know if this is a like a vintage piece or a newer piece, but the comps on this brand seem to be okay. And I like that color. It's like a great staple wardrobe piece. This I grabbed because it was new with tags and I'm just going to hold on to it until I find a few other 2X pieces that are in nice condition, that are sort of similar style that I can just lock together. It's Rosen Alley, which honestly could maybe be a Stitch Fix brand too, but this is from Dress Barn. It's a size 2X, it retailed at $40. It's a lightweight navy dolman sleeve open cardigan with some sheer paneling at the sleeves, longer line, and then it's kind of a waterfall front see that and then it has some stripes along um, the bottom trim as well so new with tags I just can't help myself okay these I grabbed they're just wool mittens um, I love mittens but they're really cute I'd say they're like a one size but maybe a, a women's large um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these myself or not I have this is the tag so it is, um, I translated it to being uh, made in Ukraine and it's a wool. So wool mittens made in the Ukraine. And so I'll see if I list those or if I keep those for myself. This is just a free people skirt. It's a size small. It's a, I like the color on it. This kind of brownie orange color ribbed pull on skirt I think you know maybe 15 bucks on that so it's not like a huge return but um I like the colorway on it this is lucky brand size large this is one of the things I threw in my cart I kind of forgot about it is a kind of Henley style soft knit shirt with this mixed print and it kind of has that vintage look to it, um, even though it's a newer piece. I think that's the way it's supposed to be made. And I was seeing if it had a date on here. Made in India. A cotton modal blend. So, you know, a nice blend. This is a fun pair of pants it's earthbound trading company which i pick up when i find it it's a store that you find like in outlet malls i feel like a lot um this is just a size extra large pair of pull-on pants this smocked waist a very hippie boho print this wide leg with <clears throat> the slit that goes up to the thigh area so it's a great like summer pull-on over your swimsuit bottom real breezy almost semi sheer wide leg pant so I thought those were really cute and they have like a sun kind of print abstract sun print <clears throat> this is urban outfitters ecote I think it is size four this is probably an older piece but I liked this I thought it was cute um it's a halter neck handkerchief print bandana print sort of dress it's a real short fit and flare lined and then the back has this button detail on this t-strap kind of racer back um strappy back no no back <laughs> and it goes down into a low back and it has a side zip so just a cute summer boho festival sort of piece for someone 
This I grabbed. It's the brand Cider, which I always see online. I think I picked up a sweater from them before. Not necessarily the highest resale value. Um, this is a faux leather jacket and wrinkled right now. It's a size large, but it's this just faux leather button front shirt with these slip pockets in the front. So um, I went ahead and grabbed that. This is the brand Stoosh, S-T-O-O-S-H, size small. The tag is detached on one side, but it's Stoosh. It looks like an infinity symbol sort of in the center. It's just a pair of faux leather leggings, pants. I don't know. Are these still a thing? Faux leather? I feel like they are. So, and they're actually a nice, nicer feeling pant. They're not um, see-through or feeling like they're cheap or anything like that. So, they're a skinny leg though. So, we'll see if, how those do. This I grabbed. This will get me like $8. I'm not even going to put comps up. I hope for $8. But it's uh, AG, Adriana Goldschmied Kids, size large. So, it's just got this AG. It's very font, faint font. This is just an adorable striped shirt dress with the zipper front, little pockets. Um, kind of cinches in at the waist. It's just a shirt dress, a bit of a fit and flare. This is adorable. <laughs> like... That would be so cute for like a first day of school outfit for some um, kid. It's a cotton poly spandex blend and it's from 2019. But I just think this is adorable. So I did throw that in my cart. This is J. Jill size medium petite. Trisha, why are you picking up medium petite J. Jill? I don't know, but I really liked this shirt. It's just a semi sheer, just a blouse, just a simple blouse but I really liked the spring color for it it did have a little bit of a shoulder cut out here exposed shoulder not like a I don't know just a slight exposed shoulder but the print is really pretty and spring is going to be here before we know it this I grabbed for myself it's made well 100% cashmere size extra large um, boxy kind of waffle knit sweater in this black gray kind of naturally neutral tone looking it did seem like it maybe had some makeup marks around the neckline I, I don't care um that doesn't bother me and it has two little pulls that I'm just gonna pull through because it's for me but otherwise it wasn't too pilly and it was in pretty good condition it's from spring of 2018 100% cashmere um it does recommend dry cleaning if this if I were going to resell this it had some pretty good comps um, however, I'm going to be going on vacation soon, and so I wanted to have a new-to-me sweater to wear because it will be cold where I'm going, like cold, like negative temperatures. All right, this is a Harry Potter hat, um, and it is adjustable size. The brand is Elope, E-L-O-P-E. -E. I have sold this brand. I had a Newt Scamander from Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Uh, like jacket that sold before Christmas. This is a hat and it is a um, like adult adjustable size hat. So this was in the same bin as the next item I'm going to show you. Um, so just a wizard's hat. And then the next piece is this. So this is from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I believe this is only maybe stuff you can find at the Wizarding Harry Potter World or whatever it's called, which out of all the theme parky kind of places, that might be the one I would be interested in going. It's an adult size 2X robe and it's a velvet robe with this blue satin trim. So it's Ravenclaw. And then it has the embroidered Ravenclaw patch here. And these, so they have different kinds of robes that came from the Wizarding World. Some are a fabric one. Some are these velvety kind of <laughs> uh, ones. And so, you know, the, these comps weren't too horrible. I'm going to sell it with the hat, um, even though it's two different brands, just as a set. So we'll see how that does. This is a pair of Lululemon leggings. So there's the back logo. So it's a pair of... 
Wonder Under something, something, something. Wonder Under 2. It's got these sheer bottom panels and the scalloped trim to the bottom. I hate things without sizes and these do not have pockets because so what you can do is wear it as a high waist and it's this roll down waist um so then it has another lululemon logo that's inside upside down but when you fold it down it shows so everyone knows it has a little bit of pilling that i'm just going to take my sweater shaver to i don't know i'll measure it that's one of those things i should have just freaking left behind because now i have to measure it and deal with it <laughs> all right this is cabby and if you just watched my what sold video that was the video before this i had two pieces of cabby that sold for 25 dollars or more I think they were both $25. This is the older cabbie tag. So that's the one, the older one. This is just a weird shirt, so I grabbed it because it's weird. Um, I, it's like a overlay, almost taffeta feeling overlay on the shoulders and then this knit base, like a fitted top. It's style is 143. So um, it's a size large, who knows? what I'll get for that. I grabbed it. A black shirt. Why would I want to list that? Because I fall apart when I go to the bins and I just start grabbing stuff. So I, it's only January. I have a whole year to work on my goals at the bins. This is just a Def Leppard, um, size medium women's t-shirt, probably from like Walmart or Spencer's or something like that. It's not vintage. It's a new one, but I liked the graphic and I got it. Um, so if you have Netflix and you have not watched the movie called The Bank of Dave, The Bank of Dave, The Bank of Dave, you should watch it. It's kind of, it's a British uh, English film and um, just kind of a good, feel good movie. So give it a look-see. But the Def Leppard is kind of mentioned in that movie. So that's what made me think of it. This is a size 32 double D Victoria's Secret sport bra in an animal print. So underneath it has the bra that clasps in the front. And then it has the zip front overlay to really cinch in your ladies. Um, a nice thick strap. These are sort of a pain in the rump to get into, if you ask me. Like, I feel like it takes some maneuvering to be able to do it. This is Fabletics, which my resolution on that, or at the end of last year, was to not buy them if they didn't have a size um, tag. So this is Fabletics size 1X sport bra. And so it's a great size. It's a fun color. It's pretty heavy duty. I'll look up the style for it. It's got cross back straps in the back. It's a fun gray and kind of eggplanty color. So it's a pretty heavy duty bra. It does not have underwire to it, but I did want to grab that. What are you? This is Garnet Hill size small, just a pull on gray skirt with these kind of drapey pockets in the front. Um, just a knee length, really soft knit skirt, flowy. And it does have these, okay, let's see if I can show you. So here's the sides are kind of cinched in and then the front kind of is flowy. So it gives us more of an illusion of having maybe more body to it. It is lined and it is, I think, organic cotton. Nope, I lied. 60% cotton, 40% modal blend. So that is great. I like Garnet Hill a lot. And so that's a piece that I'm happy to pick up. Here's another, so I talked about um, the shoes that I bought and I forgot about this. So I just picked it out. So I grabbed this at the bins. It's free people size. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Free people size, small petite. So this is the front of it. It's a mini, mini dress. It's very adorable. Great embroidery. Elastic sleeve down here. Some embroidery and kind of eyelet details there fun green color it's a heavy dress it's lined the back has um a little keyhole to it but then as you can see at the back of the keyhole it has kind of frayed 
I'm going to list it because I think it's a really cute piece otherwise, and there aren't any other flaws to it. Real, lots of heavy embroidery. Just cute. Um, I might try to trim up some of that. I might try to sew it shut a little bit. I don't think it's that noticeable in the back, but I looked over, over the whole thing and then got home and noticed that, and I was like, that's a bummer. This is for me. It's peanuts. This may have come from Walmart. Um, it's just for next year, a ugly sweater, <laughs> festive sweater with Snoopy on it. So that was for me. Where's my me pile? Here's another cashmere piece for my cashmere bin. It's L.L. Bean, which would have been a great find. Um, cashmere it had a hole in the sleeve. It had overall just pilling to it, but happy to save that from hopefully going off to the landfill. This is Eloquy. It is a size 16. It's a jacket that does not button. It has this large grommet detail with the belt and the belt goes inside behind your waist. Um, and then it comes through to tie on the grommets in the front. So it's got a bit of a, a bit of a peplum style sleeve to it or hem to it. It's real textured, heavy duty. This is heavy duty, light shoulder padding. So kind of a cool piece. I will, even though it's a um, larger size and my body form is pretty small, I still will put that on there because I think it will give it good shape. This is the brand Habitat, size XL. I have picked up this brand before. It does pretty well. It's like an overall, I don't know, paisley, eye cap print, mixed print in this blue and white colorway, three quarter length sleeves, just a boxy roomy shirt. And it is 100% cotton made in Peru. So just a nice quality t-shirt. This is Gap size small. I really like the style of this dress. Uh, oh, there we go, and the color. So it's a wrinkled mess right now. Got these short sleeves. This gives me a like 90s Y2K look to it as well. And this terracotta color. Terracotta, mm, cinnamony sort of color. Um, it is from 2021. Short sleeve flare burnt russet. Okay. A russet to me is a potato. <laughs> um, and it feels like cotton. It will take me nine years to find that on this tag though. Oh, there it is, 100% cotton. So I just like that style um, and I think it should do well. It's very new, really, I mean, 2021. I guess it's 2024, that's three years old, but. This I grabbed, it looks like it had some like sticky tack. Uh, I don't know what it's really called, but it's this gummy stuff that teachers, my mom's teacher for 30 plus years, elementary school, mostly fifth grade um, and fourth grade. And so she had this stuff called sticky tack. So because you could put it behind a poster and tack it to the wall without using a tack. She worked in like a portable for several years when I was in fourth grade, she was in fourth grade as well. And so you couldn't really push, the, it had paneling on the wall. So sticky tack, that's, that's what I grew up. But this is what it looks like it has on the back of it. I just need to take a little wet cloth to it. This is Taylor Swift Save America 2024. So these seem to, this is not a new, a tags one, obviously, but they seem to be doing pretty well. Um, Nashville, of course, had Taylor Swift here for two nights. The second night, they had like a lightning rain delay, and I know someone who went to that concert. I think she was here three nights. And it was, they sat, it, you had to shelter in place where it was, was an open dome where we have our football stadium for like five or six hours. And then she played her whole set, um, canceled the warm up you know, opening acts and she played her whole set till like 11 o'clock at night or something. So she, they got their money's worth. My husband and I went to George Strait uh, in August where it was a thousand degrees and storming the, the night before was like a perfect evening, great weather, a little humid. Um, the night we went was pouring down rain and lightning and we could see it coming on the radar and I understand it's an outdoor. We, we didn't travel thousands of miles, have a hotel, pay for airfare to get there. Um, we heard the opening two acts, one of which was Chris Stapleton, which was great to hear, but I was not there to hear him. I was there to hear George Strait. And then George Strait played like three songs, four songs out of like a 20 plus song set list. 
and lightning caused the whole cancel concert to be canceled um and we had to like race back to our car in like a lightning and thunderstorm it was it was it was crazy it rained like inches <laughs> um and but it was warm because it was august uh people were really ticked about that the only thing i had to say about it was that I'm no meteorologist, but I was watching the radar and I could see this huge, massive storm coming to us. I felt like they should have cut the two opening acts completely um, and then just gone straight into George Strait. That's who we were there to see. So we could have at least seen maybe 20, 15 of his 22 set, you know, list. Um, but whatever, you know, we got, my husband and I got to have a date night and um, it was just kind of one of those things where like, I didn't quite understand the reasoning behind it, especially when you're in an outdoor arena. A lot of things get closed down here because of, we get really severe thunderstorms. It's pretty, pretty amazing. Okay. Did I need to tell you that story? No, but I did. This is BKE, which is from Buckle. This feels like Barefoot Dreams. It is a like oversized oatmeal, chunky cardigan kind of thing um, with some slip pockets, some sort of tortoiseshell buttons and it is it feels like barefoot dreams so real soft stretching it i got it it's oversized <clears throat> this is tommy bahama size large a split neck three-quarter length sleeve top with this fun botanical like palm tree birds of paradise toucan sort of print to it real fun blue and white summery color it feels like linen lyocell and linen blend so i did grab that tommy bahama hit or miss much like this brand can can uh this is a straight or a skinny pant and a size five or 26 but i mean it's got this split bottom hem detail with a raw um, and raw hem, some distressing, definitely high waisted, in good condition, didn't have any puckering. So, and it had um, a nice kind of lighter um, blue, washed blue to it. All right, this is Altered State, the second piece I got, size medium. I got this because I just really love the embroidery on it. This is a great color, perfect for winter, fall. Heavy embroidery across the bust. It has this like Swiss dot sheer sleeve with this bell detail. The body has a lot of flow to it. And um, just this fun lace scalloped trim along the way. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Here's a Chico size two piece, which is a size um, large. This just a short sleeve, but botanical fern frondy. <laughs> um, print to it in this natural colorway and then it has these little blingies on it I don't know if you can see them and so I did grab that I did get a couple pieces of Chico size 2 so I thought I would slot them together because that's not a huge substantial piece this is the other size Chico's 1 which is a medium it's a no iron shirt these tend to do pretty well it's a three-quarter length paisley shirt and a fitted button front so it'll go with that white crochet top Kind of two pops of spring colorway. This is Tipsy Elves, which I think of as being more of a Christmas um, brand, like ugly sweaters and such. But I, this is a men's size extra large swim trunk with the American flag. So perfect for Memorial Day, 4th of July. It has the brief liner to it. And I went ahead and grabbed that. This is just for me, I think. We don't know. It's Old Navy. It's just a swim swimsuit in this fun tropical print. New with tags. So let's see when, what year it was from. I have so many swimsuits, but I like to vary things up. It's from 2022. So, you know, if I don't like it, I may list it. Um, but I like that. This is Adrian Vitadini 100% Linen size 1x top this is a like department store brand as far as i remember maybe dillard's or macy's um but i feel like i also see it at tj maxx it's just a striped 100 percent linen top with a tab sleeve with a three-quarter length sleeve and then the back has this 
button down detail to it. So it has a kind of a lot going for it look wise. It was plus size, it's linen. So I grabbed it. This is a Life is Good shirt. It's got this fun palm tree print in multicolor on the front. It's the Crusher tee, just their basic women's tee, v-neck, and it says Life is Good 365, although I think this is a three leap year this year, so that's where we're at. Um, this retail for $29.50, and it's new with tags, so I grabbed it. I, I love Life is Good stuff for myself. They have fun prints. This is Umji, which is hit or miss for me as well. Um, this is a size medium, and it's a fun um, like peasant top. What am I talking about? It has heavy embroidery. It's this fun blue color. It's like a sleep blue gray color. This springy colored embroidery. And then look at the sleeves. The back of the sleeve or the top of the sleeve is heavy embroidery as well. And then it goes down into um, like a tunic length. Someone could wear that as a dress, I guess, if they were short. This is Chico size three. That's the only Chico size three I got. So that is an extra large. It's just a space dye striped multi-print or multi-way t-shirt. So, you know, that's not gonna garner a huge return, but easy to list. And it was in good condition. This is Corona, um, like Corona Beer Extra, and it's the actual licensed merchandise from Corona. So it says Corona, uh, drink responsibly, Corona Extra. Just a, um, not novelty, what's the word I want? Mm -hmm. Not novelty, what is it? Promotional, good Lord. Promotional shirt, um, size, large 100% cotton made in El Salvador so you know it feels new I don't feel like this has ever been worn so the comps on those were actually not too bad <clears throat> this is Victoria's Secret size medium and it is a just a nightgown and an animal print size uh, medium I said and it's got these sheer panel inlays so it's like a satin it's pretty it's cross back the sides are sheer so it's just a little nighty this is just a pair of shorts for me old navy linen shorts full on love those here's another Chico size 2 which is a large um, to go along with the other Chico size large shirt I got so I can just lop them together what was the other large shirt? Where is it? Somewhere down there. Um, I liked the print on this one, kind of like a mandala all over print to it. A bit of a tabbed cap sleeve, real stretchy, nice knit. And do I see a hole in it right now? Yes, I do. Bummer, it's a tiny little hole, but you can't really see it until you hold it up to the light. So there's another fail. <laughs> so when an extra 10 cents a pound and a dollar for 59 a pound, you know, now I really have to focus on being careful. This is a pair of Banana Republic factory pants, a size four petite. So again, you're like, Trisha, why are you picking them up? Um, it's from the summer of 2022. They are 100% Lyocell Tencel, and they're this army green, wide leg pant with this paper bag style waist. This may have had a belt that came with it initially, but I think a brown belt or like a jute or canvas belt would look really cute with it. Great wide leg pant. So I went ahead and grabbed those. All right, the next item is, <laughs> Venti 6, V-E-N-T-I 6. It's a tie-dye, like asymmetrical, jagged bottom hem. Top, it felt like linen. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll grab that. I looked at the tag. I was certain it was going to say linen made in Italy. I just had that feeling about it. And if I could find the tag, I would tell you all about it. 
which I feel like I struggled with the first time. There it is. It is um, made in Italy. The company is in California, but it's made in Italy. Size small, 100% linen. So comps on that seemed pretty good. This is Prana size large, just a bikini top. This could easily be paired with a black bottom. Um, so I grabbed it. I like Prana. This is our last item. I did pick up a bag full of shoes this day. I'm going to do a separate video on those for next week. And so I can work to get this stuff listed and then deal with shoes next. I am glad that we're ending on this item. I just think it's so cute. It's loft size medium, which if you've been a fan of my channel for over a year, you know that I like swore off loft, but I just can't stop picking it up. <laughs> so I just decided to go with it. But this is a very cute dress. It is a, um, like a halter style dress in this fun multicolor stripe in a satin. It has these side ties, um, to cinch in each side. It's, and then it's pleated bottom. It's a midi dress below the knee. Just adorable. I love this dress. It's so cute. And it's new with tags. It does not have the retail price on it. It's from 2020. It's just polyester, but this would be so cute to wear to a summer wedding or a beach wedding. Um, and I just, um, I think it's just super cute. So happy to get that listed and gearing up for spring, even though we're only in January. So that is it. That is my haul. Thanks so much for watching. I always appreciate anyone who makes it this far into the video, especially when you comment or like this video. It just, you know, I get to interact with you. It really does uh, make my day. So thanks so much for watching. Next week will be a shoe haul. We'll see you next time. Take care. <music>